My heavenly father will say, okay, fine, that's fine. But can you decide to choose the life that my son Jesus lived? What am I going to do? Yes. First John 4, 17 says, As he was in the world, so are we now in this world. As he was in the world, so are we now in this world. Now, there's a lot of talk going around about predestination. Now, the only predestination that I can find is in Romans 8, 29. Romans 8, 29 says, We were predestined that we may be conformed to the image of His Son. We were predestined that we may be conformed to be the image of His Son. Now that is true predestination. So if anyone is not too sure about it, please quote that Bible verse, Romans 8, 29. Okay. Now sometime back, I heard this poem. I believe that it's a hymn, a Catholic hymn, I'm not too sure about it. But the moment I heard this, you see, it really hit me. It was like a thunderbolt. It goes like this. Oh, let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All his wonders, compassion and purity. Oh, thou, the spirit divine all my nature refined. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Now this, for the day, for the last 15, 20 months, I repeat it over and over and over and over again. And I feel that Jesus lives in me. So, if you have a pen or pencil, you can just jot it down. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All his wonders, compassion and purity. O thou, the spirit divine, all my nature refined. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Just a minute. I'm sorry, Thursday. So, all that sounds very nice and spiritual, isn't it? But, I ask the question, how am I going to be like Jesus? What was Jesus like? Very simple and plain. Jesus lived his life constantly, always perpetually. With eternal perspective in mind. How did Jesus live his life? Constantly, always perpetually, with eternal perspective in mind. He said, I'm not trying to be the king here. This is not my kingdom. This is not what I'm about. I'm here. For a short period and on purpose. That is to accomplish the plan of my Father. Praise the Lord. And he, Jesus had this always on his mind. Now, what was Jesus like? Jesus was not a philosopher searching for the truth, he was the truth. He was not a mistake. He was reality. He was not a reform. He was recreated. He was not a visionary. He was the light of the world. He never reasoned. 
reason. Because he knew. He didn't have to reason it. Because he knew. He was never in a hurry. He was never afraid. He never showed weakness. He never hesitated. Jesus was always ready. He was sure. There was sureness in all what he did and what he said. Jesus had no fear. He had no defeat. He did not shrink from pain or brutal treatment. He was the master when they arrested him. He was the master at his trial. He was almighty. Yet, just a man. And don't forget that he is in you. Jesus is in you. As Galatians 2.20 says, I was crucified along with Jesus Christ. It is not that I who live. It's Jesus Christ who lives in me. The life that I'm living now is the life of Jesus Christ. All I want to do is to be like Jesus. Praise the Lord. So, uh, I just want to say, it says like, go back memory lane. When I was here in Sri Lanka, uh, sorry, in Abu Dhabi, last time, well, as some of you know, God called made a call on my life. He wanted me to go back to Sri Lanka and start a church there and that is in the hill country. So I answered my call. I went back. Well, I was serving there but sad to say I saw what was happening. It, it was a repeat performance. If I may say, why I say it's a repeat performance, I don't want to repeat the past, but you know, certain things that happen. So, I, because I saw what was happening there in Sri Lanka. I'm very bold. My Lord has said, if you have to say something, you say. So, lots of servants of God who had started as servants of God, Limelight, fame, money have blinded them. This is happening in Sri Lanka. I'm not trying to say, I'm not afraid to say. I'm not the most popular pastor in Sri Lanka now because I boldly say what I have to say. Because I don't depend on anyone. I only depend on my God. My Heavenly Father is the one who provides everything for me. So I don't have to depend on any other person. I'm not accountable to any other person. I'm only accountable to my heavenly father. So I saw what was happening. I, in the night, I went on my knees and I cried to the Lord. I said, Father, Father, you, I was in Abu Dhabi, you brought me back to Sri Lanka. Why is that I see these things? Pastors, preachers, Bible teachers, all, not all, sorry. Loving money, power, having strife, jealousy, anger. I asked my father, Father, why? Why do these people who can quote any scripture of the Bible, who know all the doctrines, why are they behaving like this? Listen to what my father, Heavenly Father, told me. He said, Son, all these people, they spend their time only with the Bible. They never spend any time with me. That's what the Lord said. If you want to be famous, knowledgeable, then you be only with the Bible. But if you want to be like me, love Jesus. Imitate him. Do exactly what the way Jesus did. Oh, it's a little 
beer, isn't it? But how true it is. Yes, through the Bible. We start loving Jesus with all that knowledge. But the main thing is we have to know that Jesus lives in us. We have to be with the Lord, with Jesus. So, 